Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Fallout 2. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today as we kill the last remaining the family. More, I was. Gonna, we're gonna kill the bishops first, but what the, the the family owners? It's not owners. The family fathers. Whatever. Last episode, I don't know the head of the families. Uh, last episode, we killed the Salvatore's. Well, I, we killed Mr. Salvatore. Uh, we gave him a uh, poison tank instead of his oxygen tank, and he killed over and died. And we gained a bunch of experience from that. We're now made men with everybody, and we'll keep being made men with everybody. Also, I need to keep an eye over there for my uh, skill points. You know what? I'm gonna bring up my... Look at that blasphemy right there. Look at that blasphemy right there. Yeah, to 100, just because. So, what do we need to do? Well, we're gonna do something that has actually prevented us from uh, becoming a porn star here, here in New Reno uh, for a little while, actually. Uh, and it's gonna be sleeping over here with Mrs. Bishop. And uh, she's very nice, she's very friendly. Actually, I don't know what the, her description is. You see an attractive middle-aged woman, she looks bored. Uh, well, I say she's friendly because she's bored. Uh, but yeah, so she just wants a little bit of a rump in the sack and that's all fine. Why did I get this? Oh, because I was made... Mm, yeah, I don't really need this for much. But uh, that's all good, I'm not gonna need that either. Okay, the the stealth boy anyway. Judging from the crowd in the casino, looks like more human sewage has washed into Reno. Well, forget what I said about her being friendly. I don't remember her very well then, <laughs> quite clearly. Let me just save the game there, and let's have a chat with her. The woman turns to face you. She's quite attractive, with a, lo a low-cut dress made out of gold gecko skin. She studies you for a moment, then frowns. Yes, what is it? Uh, wh who are you? She raises an eyebrow. I think I should be the one to ask him that question. And she crosses her arms. I'm Leslie Ann Bishop. My husband is the head of the Bishop family here in New Reno. And you are? Um, I'm a simple traveler. She frowns. A simple traveler? How remarkably open and trusting of you. And what, pray tell, do you think I can do for you, simple traveler? Um, can you tell me about Mr. Bishop? My husband? is the head of the bishop family. In matters of diplomacy, business, and criminal pursuits, he possesses a certain animal cunning that one cannot help but admire, however contemptible, uh, however contemptible his other qualities. His other qualities? And she frowns, I'll leave that to your imagination. And she looks irritated. Is that all? Yeah, actually I had some other questions. Uh, can you tell me about the bishop family? Oh, there is, there is really nothing to say about the Bishop family. Oh, there's the extended family of hired thugs, mercenaries, whore pushers, and slaves. But that's really all the Bishop family amounts to. Well, it sounds as if your marriage isn't, uh, uh, your marriage life isn't as healthy as it could be. No, my husband is in the business of accumulating power. That seldom leaves room for anything else. In addition, my precious daughter has quickly learned what being a woman means in New Reno. Yeah, your your daughter Angela. Yes, the Angela you slept with. Surely you remember? And she gives you a withering look. I hope you used a prophylactic. I don't know that word, but I know what she means. Her hormones are so out of control that even the mere mention of sperm would make her pregnant. Uh, the condom? Sure we did. Uh, uh, I think. No, we didn't actually on purpose. Anyway, because that's then that way we get a, a a separate ending for that particular thing. Yeah, and some other questions. Uh. So, yeah, so goes back to this. I'm not going to ask her about that. Uh, I think... I don't really know. Let's see. A condom. Sure we did. Let's go with that. Hold a moment, and she studies you. You seem to be new in town. Would you care to join me for a drink in my chambers? We can discuss New Reno. It's a dangerous place to uh, those unfamiliar with uh, its ways. Uh, only if the drinks are just the beginning. And she raises an, an eyebrow. We shall see. Well, there's a lot of ways to say no, apparently. Um, yeah, that's all I need to hear. Let's go. And very well, follow me. She nods and smiles. So this is how we do it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, I hope I will be able to pull it off, but we'll see. You join Mrs. Bishop for a drink in her chambers. The two of you talk for a while. Then she comes over and starts caressing you. Uh, okay. So this is the tricky bit. We need... To be able to, um, we need to be able to ask her 
about other things. About his, uh, about her husband in particular. Let's see. I slept with your daughter. Maybe we shouldn't. Nope. I, maybe we should. That's another reason. Uh, before we do it, are, well, quite literally, aren't you going to open your wall safe? No. Let's not go with that. Um, well, let's get down to it. I can open the wall safe. I think I've opened the wall safe already. So, yeah, let's just go to it. You make love. It's not the best, it's not the greatest, but for a brief moment in your turbulent lives, you and Mrs. Bishop forget the cruelties of the world and lose yourselves in each other. So, wh what do you want to do now? Mrs. Bishop sighs contented contentedly and stretches. Uh, let's see. I want to talk... I want to say this line, but I, I really, I really must, must get her to talk about her husband, because otherwise this is not going to go well. Yeah, tell me about your husband. And she frowns slightly and pulls the sheets tighter around her body. Must we talk about him? Let's not run ruin the mood. Uh, I really want to know. Tell me about him. Huh. I assure you, John and I have no love for each other. What small fraction exi- oh, what small fraction existed has degenerated into a healthy amount of spite. He has his women, and I have my... pleasures. Uh... Surely you two must still love each other, if even a little. What I'm trying to push here, by the way, is just her actual hate for her husband. Because I want to get him, uh, get her to kill him. And that's the, that's the plan over here, so let's go with that one. The only love we have consists of his forcing his way into my bedroom and mounting me like a drunken Brahmin. And that is perhaps his, last his least contemptible quality, considering his other pursuits. His other pursuits? I'll leave that to your imagination. Can we please drop it? Let's talk about something else. Uh, want me to kill him? No, she rolls over, mumbles in her sleep. Don't be an idiot. Soon as people find out, you'll be on the run for the rest of your short life. Uh, yeah, but what if people didn't know it was me? She stirs, blinks. What are you talking about? Don't talk foolish. I, I don't know, maybe a trap or something that looks like a, an accident? Her eyes snap open. He's safe. He has explosives set up to... To it, if it's tampered with. Only if you enter a certain combination is it safe. Of course, if that combination was changed, fixed, without his knowledge. Hmm. Yeah, maybe if I repaired, well, quite literally there, uh, the locker is safe. It's something to keep in mind. Say, or maybe it's not literal. Yeah. Other the questions. Okay, so that is what we need to do right there. Your question is met with silence. Mrs. Bishop has fallen asleep. You can't help but wonder if she sh she would have stayed awake longer if you'd been more skilled. But you quickly repress the thought before it hurts your ego. Yeah, I could have taken drugs there. I don't. It it doesn't really matter. Uh, she that we got what it came out. So let's sleep out of bed quietly, quietly, and let her to her slumber. I guess. Okay, and also rob her blind, because that's always the plan. But we have been here, that door is open. Because we have been here, that door is open as well. I think we'll be totally fine. Uh, doing this, I think I've also mentioned this before, doing this uh, with without talking to Bishop is uh, death. Uh, because then you need, you'll need leave and he'll see you. And he'll shoot you. Okay, this thing is locked. Let's go for traps over here. Uh, you failed to find any traps. You failed to find any traps. I'm not that bad at traps, come on. There's a clank, Daryl. Mm, some, some, some. Yeah, there it is. So we got some things over here uh, that are also pretty nice. I'll uh, not take that. Oh, I'll take this because I need this for today as well. Uh, yeah. I don't need the, the ammo. Let's get that, and that's good. Okay. Let's continue. So we've been to all the safes. This is um. Yeah, this is Angela's room. Failed to find any traps. Can I open? Oh, it's locked. Do they lock this? I thought we had gotten this before. Or maybe they just... Yeah, I'm pretty sure we did. Okay, so the plan here is to repair this. I'm going to use number 8, which is my skill repair, right there. It's It probably would be best to rearm the safe with plastic explosives or dynamite first. Is it open? What What do you mean? What do you... I don't have pl like plastic explosives. I don't have anything of the sort on me. I mean, I could, but I need to go down. Okay, let's see if they have anything in there. Doesn't look like there's a trap to the safe. Let's try and open it. Okay, clank. Get that over there. It, there's nothing inside. So let's try and close it right there. I think I might need to bring explosives for this. Yeah, I'm probably not going to need to. 
gonna gonna need to bring them up. Which is gonna be a problem. Okay. Well, I will see you in a little bit. Uh, because I'll uh, I'll get those explosives. Okay. So about those plastic explosives, I'm not really sure how that goes. Uh, but let's try this. It seems like it's working. The trap on the safe has successfully been rearmed. Okay, so if I hadn't disarmed that trap before, because that's what I did, the combination on the safe has successfully been changed. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, it has. So let's get out of here, and uh, I'll see you later. Oh, you got some balls coming in here. Why didn't you just tack a sign on your chest that says, Dumb motherfucker. It led you, Mordino bastard. Oh, uh... Oh, I forgot about that. Hmm. I, uh... I'm still main man, so screw you. <laughs> I suppose. I mean, I can hold them. The problem is the guys downstairs are gonna see me. So there's a way to do this, of course, with sneak. And uh, if I can do it without sneak, then I might as well not reload and just keep at it. These guys are gonna be very upset. Some of these guys actually have very powerful weapons. Uh, but, yeah, so what happened there, Mordino bastard, is because we're made men, so, of the Mordinos. So, I think it basically, each, each family hates another family, and they get really upset about specific families and stuff, but, ah, well. It has nothing to do with the fact that I slept with his wife, he doesn't really care about that. Uh, so let's go downstairs. Oh, they're still upset. Oh. So, seems pretty simple, actually. It seems pretty simple. All I need to do... Is redo this, I'll then reload, or then save the game again. What am I doing? It's up there. Sorry. So basically I'll do that, uh, and uh, activate that with a repair. There it is, and now, now for the tricky bit, it's a good thing I still kept... Oh, it's right there. I, sorry. I thought because I reloaded I didn't do that. Switch! As before, yeah, so I, I'm overloaded? How am I overloaded? Oh, Marcus is overloaded, I'm an idiot. Uh, okay, so let's save the game there, and let's see if I can get past these guys, I doubt it, but uh, might be able to. I doubt it because the script sometimes, uh, the script sometimes, they see me. Hmm. How can I get past this guy? Without... I mean, as soon as I attack them... I'll just... I'll, as soon as I attack them, I'll lose... I'll lose the... Hmm. Interesting. Okay, he's alone. No, he's not. <laughs> They're definitely coming my way. Okay, let's try that again. Uh, maybe now I, I need to up my sneak. Because uh, my sneak is kind of awful. So... Oh, look at that. That was even before I upped my... Uh, my small guns and stuff. Okay, good stuff. Let's just bring up my sneak. Uh, I would say... I'm not going to need any skill points from now on. It's all going to be fine. Uh, yeah, because I have sniper. So let's just bring that over there. And bring that up over here. We're going to get probably a level up as well as soon as we're done with this. So it's not going to be a big deal. Uh, so there we go. Let's get that. And let's move in. And I'm actually going to try and be a little bit more... Oh, sorry. That was my bad. Was it? No, yeah, it definitely was, because I lost my, my sneak. Oh, you missed. No, it didn't. Okay, let's try that again. Uh, so, you need, basically, you need to hold shift all the time, because I have the auto run. Oh. For some reason, it didn't work like that. Let's see. Does it work like this? Oh, that's another thing. Ha! <laughs> uh, what happened right there? I uh, it's If you click on a place that... It's, that's weird. Why does it work like that? Look at this. If I click over here... Or something, I... I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. Yeah. That's the spirit. Oh. Oh. Maybe I'm gonna need to have a little bit more. Hmm. Maybe I need to remove my armor? Is that... Does it matter? Well, I guess... I guess I could try. I. It won't stop me. There we go. So, sneak. Well, it will, I will die, but that's beside the point, really. It's not really a problem. Maybe I can't stop or something. Yeah, that guy notices me. 
Huh. Interesting, huh? How do I do this? Okay, let's try that again and basically not stop. Uh, so that guy notices me, but I can get past it. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, well, let me uh, look into what I have to do over here, and uh, I will see you in a little bit. I just found it. I'm an idiot. Never mind. Never mind. Oh, don't go there. Go through here. Yeah, I, all you need to do is just go around through there, and he doesn't see you. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. And then we'll get out of here, basically. Yep. Oh, you can disable that. Whew, okay, I didn't even I didn't even look online. I was gonna look online because after all I am following a walkthrough uh, This guy's yeah, how do I go to the bathroom? I don't need to this has a uh, liquid recovery thing uh, And I think he's just gonna eventually die Marcus is overloaded I Think uh, so I still have that how long does that take? Do I need to rest? Let's rest until morning. Let's go with that uh, You hear a muffled boom upstairs Marcus is overloaded. <laughs> well, I, he just died. He died. Okay, of course, we can go up there, to be honest, because uh, he doesn't... Because his goons are not going to attack me. They, they respect me. Okay, so, yeah, that's... Oh, my bad. Do I have my car over here? Yes, I do. Uh, so that's that over there. Uh, what else do we need to do? Well, now we can be a porn star, which I'm gonna take care of. I'm gonna need to get a little bit of experience as well, but that's gonna be fine. We're gonna need to take drugs, basically. That's that's what we need. Uh, so where are we gonna... Who are we gonna kill now? We killed the bishop, dude. Uh, we're gonna go for the right, so let's go over here. Uh, nope, that's not the right guy. That's in Virgin Street that I need to go take the car. Yeah, we were just here. This is the bishops. I confused the two. I'm sorry. So, rights. The rights are uh, kind of a interesting thing because it's um uh, oh man how am i gonna get nuka cola oh <gasps> i know hey what you be yeah because he's got a heart condition that's the thing i could give him the pecker pills i suppose or the whatever these are does it is it called pecker pills no uh okay yeah i could maybe i could give them though that but all i need to do is just give him jet uh but that's not what i'm gonna give him what i'm gonna give him is is dang it Dang it, Bobby! He's not here. Dang it. Seriously. Well, it's Cat then. Cat, give me your stuff. Uh, I have... There it is. The ultimate killing machine. So basically, it's pretty simple on this guy. Uh, he's upstairs. He's gonna be my friend and all that. Because he doesn't care about the, my other affiliations with the Mordinos or whoever. Uh, he basically checks if I made men with him first or something. And now what I do is I just... Give him a nice, fresh Nuka Cola. He didn't really like that. Let's just not be here. Dios mío, he says. Yep, definitely meant to be Spanish. Or, you know, I suppose Latin American from Mexico, maybe. Whatever. Uh, so, yeah, Desperado. Eh, should have guessed. And there it is. You have assassinated Big Jesus. A thousand experience. We didn't get anything for the bishop, though. Hmm... Don't know why. Okay, so from here, now we need to go for... Uh, we killed the Salvatores already. So, uh, well, the Salvatore. I wonder if I can go up there. Let's give it a try. Uh, if, if these guys are not going to shoot me in, on sight, like... Hey, last time you were here, our boss died and you ran away. Why was that? Hey, can I talk? No, they're very upset with things. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't, mean, I don't mean any disrespect. Let's go this way, then. And uh, let's get rid of the rights. So the rights are actually a... This is... None of this is good. This, this, there's no good things about any of this. But the way to kill the uh, the right... Sorry, not the rights. The rights is the one we just killed. The way to kill the Mordinos... And by the way, these kids are gonna say, Oh, you're in a Tin Man. And I think we can have a chat with them about that. Let's see what ha what, what happened. Because they, they're very fascinated with my armor. They're gonna say things. Or tend to say things, anyway. Hmm, Yeah. Here comes the metal insect! I thought... I thought in the past that that was me. For some reason, but that's not. That's not me. He's talking about a, a vertibird. So maybe they don't talk about me. 
Anyway, a very important aspect of doing this is going to be, let me save the game first. Uh, it's going to be to only have one pistol in my inventory. So that needs to be dropped. Duh, everything else is okay. Yeah, good. And now I talk to these guys. Oh, maybe not. Who's Who do I need to talk to? Is it you? No. Huh. Hey. Hmm. Interesting. I thought it was these kids. Thought so. Maybe it's somewhere... No. Huh. I... Yeah, I talked to all of them. And they talked to me. I know they talked to me. We're sorry, we're sorry, don't... Oh, it's because of my armor? Yeah, I think it might be because of my armor. Or because of my weapon. Let's give it a try. Without the weapon. Uh, we're sorry... No, it, it probably is because of my armor. Let's... Let's try and not scare the kids. Hey! But you better run before Daddy sees you. Interesting. Hmm. I really thought it was them. Okay, let me look for them. There's more kids coming through here. And I don't really know why. Yeah, but they're, they're really upset with me. They're really upset with me. And the dog attacks me. Lovely. Yeah. You're one of the more demon family. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Okay. Well, it's, uh, it's kind of a, it's kind of impossible then. Not with that, uh, not with the being Mordino. So, yeah. I probably should have done this before. Let me see what I can do here, if I can kill him from afar, because that might actually allow me to do what I want to do. Uh, can I not see him from here? Well, might be the case. How about from over there? So if we can, we could, we might be able to kill him just with the uh, steam packs, though. That's the one. Okay. So let's give this a try. The idea is to sneak and shoot him. Didn't kill him in a single shot. That might not work. Okay, so he's dead. We're still man made. We're still that. Doesn't mean we're gonna keep being that, but uh, being Mordino really wasn't the best, the best way. I lost, I lost ten karma with the rights. I could let them leave, but that's not the objective. We're still main men. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry though. I'm really sorry that I couldn't, I couldn't, have, I didn't do the the quest like it is supposed to do. So basically, uh, the problem is we joined the Mordinos and. Um, and that's that was the reason. Uh, there's a very easy way to kill them, uh, to kill these guys. Is you just go to the kids and tell them to play with a gun. It's as simple as that, and they they they, they play with a gun. Uh, so yeah, I can leave these for them. So there we go. We killed every single boss of the uh, families here in Urena. We're made men for every single one of them, and I'm very curious to see what is gonna happen in. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, it basically didn't give me the the nice. Oh, also forgot about that. No. 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 Please. Aw. Well, maybe this time I'm gonna be able to kill him with a single shot. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, that was a critical, but not a kill. That is a kill. Okay, yeah, so... Basically... It's not that... It's not a complete... It's not the thing I wanted to do. That's the thing. I, it's, I'm, and I'm sorry for that. But, uh, I'm pretty sure I would need... I don't, I don't even know if I could have done it in any other way. But we're not going to be able to come back over here. We might just, we, we can't leave. We're just not going to be able to come back over here. It doesn't matter because we have other places to go. Here in Irino, there is... Um, there's a few things. Well, there's the... the there's the... Uh, the... Oh, man. Uh, come on. Oh, the porn star. That's the word. I was trying to remember. I was just... Sex star. I was trying to think thinking of sex star. No, it's the porn star. We can become a porn star. We're going to do that. Uh, we... Well, actually, to be honest... To be honest, we've done most of the stuff. There's this one thing that I've been going by without actually doing much. Hey, Jules. How's it going? Or is it Jack, Jim, J? Not Jules. Jules is the guy at the entrance. Yeah, we're going to... I'm going to take care of that. As I did on camera. I'm just going to take care of that off camera. Uh, in between episodes. Uh, so for this one, let me just take care of this guy over here. I'm gonna save and have a chat with him. Three card Monty's game. Uh, Monty's the game.
No, wait a minute. Mo Monty's the name. That's his name. Yeah, Three Card Monty. Uh, and the game is the same as the name. Slap down 20 chips and we'll get down to it. Uh, get down to what? Get down to what? The game, of course. Can you explain the rules? Ha, <laughs> see. And he shows you three cards. One of these is a queen. I lay them face down, shuffle them, and you pick which one the queen is. If you're right, you win. That's simple, pal. Sounds simple enough. Let's... Let's play. Here's 20 chips. You hand over the cash, Monte nods, shows you the cards, then lays them on the ground. As he does, he palms a card so quickly you almost miss it. He then proceeds to shuffle for a few seconds. So, which one's the queen, pal? He asks. You got them, cheater. I saw you palm that card. Give me the back my cash before I kill you here in the street. What did you say, pal? You accusing me of cheating? Yep. Yeah. Look, I ain't got time for sore losers. You pay your money, you take your chances. If you wanna play, fine. But if you're just gonna bitch when you lose, then get lost. Um... Yeah, that's it. You're dead. And that's about as simple as that, really. No, it's not, because he doesn't attack me. There we go! I always let a man shoot me first. Even if he doesn't. Even if he shoots to the side. Uh, so he's got a Desert Eagle. These guys are gonna attack me, but my friends are gonna take care of that because they have better... Uh, friend or enemy recognition. Is that a friend or enemy? Foy. Yeah, foe. Foe recognition. That's the one. F-O-E means just friend or enemy. And it's more on the planes thing than anything else. I suppose boats have that as well. Come on, Marcus. Oh, there we go. And he just had one friend, the poor guy. Aw. Ah, well. Yeah, I've been. this guy's been shouting at me for a while now. And uh, each time I pass by, I'm just like, mm, I don't remember if he has actually any quest for me, or if he's part of any family thing or anything, but there we go. He didn't even have my money. Just, the, just it was for, this is all for revenge. He does have a deck of cards over here that is a nice deck of cards. And uh, I can put it over here in uh, Solix Place. There we go. Also, I think I don't need that. That's just for sale. So there we go. That, that was re New Reno. We did it. We pulled it off. So I'm gonna get a little bit of experience down here in the uh, cat's paw. I will uh, get the um, I'll get the uh, porn star thing done as well. So because now we can't do that because we couldn't do that before. Otherwise, Mrs. Bishop wouldn't wouldn't have slept with us. We wouldn't have been able to kill uh, the main man of the family. So there we go. That's the plan. But for right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Fallout 2. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later, but above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye!